yet as a house of tobacco use, they are much more convinced. Now, the graphic F warning measure is contained in Article 11 of the WHO Framework Commission on Tobacco Control, and of course in our national laws. Section 20 of the National Tobacco Control Act 2015 requires manufacturers, importers, and distributors of tobacco products to ensure that their products carry full color graphic head warnings, covering 50% of the principal display area. And that the approved graphic photo must show clearly the health implications of tobacco use and exposure to tobacco smoke. In providing guidelines for effective implementation of this policy, Section 23 of the Nigerian Tobacco Control Act states that graphic health warnings must be changed after an initial period no later than 24 months to new warnings and messages prescribed by the Federal Ministry of Health. You know, sometimes when you have warnings and they are just there, people get so used to them. So what the law says is that after every 24 months, there should be new ones, you know, conveying the same messages. The law anticipated that the short value of the warnings will begin to win after two years. This is why the warnings are required to be updated every year. Every year. The first set of warnings, the contrast image of early lungs and disease lungs of the smoker was issued on June 23, 2021 and it has expired on June 22, 2023, after a period of two years. It is now one month since the warnings expired, and as an alliance, we alerted our members in the FCT, the point in Kano and Lagos states, to monitor compliance because by now, we expect that uh, new warnings will be on the tobacco parks. And it is shocking to reveal that, you know, compliance to a new warning is a flat 0%. This is totally unacceptable, and we think we should raise this alarm, and that the tobacco industry should not undermine the laws governing, you know, the tobacco business in Nigeria. The current approved one is the Federal Minister of Health shows a graphic image of the tobacco user with mouth cancer. That's what we will supposed to be of cigarette packs now across the country. With the text warning, smoking causes mouth cancer. The profit center of the industry is to drag it to win this policy because he knows that graphic health warnings should use number of people who start smoking, just as the college colleagues college focus to quit. Graphic health warnings can reduce the amount of tobacco consumed by current users. In addition, the warnings can reduce the appeal of tobacco products, making them less attractive to young people. It has been established that the warnings can reduce the economic burden of tobacco use by cutting the number of people who start smoking and encourage tobacco smokers to do And then by that it lowers the diseases associated uh, with, the, with tobacco use. We therefore all this standard organization of Nigeria, Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, Nigeria Customs Service, the Federal Ministry of Health, to ensure that the new eight warnings are implemented. This is important in reducing the arms of tobacco use and protecting the health of Nigerians. CSOs were doing what we need to do, which is to go out there and provide information. Where are things? Is it working? Is it not working? Our job is to take the megaphone and raise the alarm like we're doing right now with all the microphones in front of us. So we are doing our bit. Everybody needs to be, do their bit um, because this is also about our young people. As we all know, I mean, there are until maybe five, six years ago, we were dealing with just cigarettes. Now there are all sorts of things being consumed, especially by young people. In the US right now, they're dealing with an epidemic of vaping by high school students. Over three million US kids are popping something. Um, and these gadgets, they're not gadgets, of course, because we're in the digital age. So the, um, the tobacco companies are of course, they, are, they keep re reinventing themselves. So one will catch them with cigarettes, they go produce other things to try and bamboozle the public. Um, now they, they have, for young people specifically, targeting them, they produce things like, um, um, what's it called? That you USB, USB yeah, drives. Flash. That's the flash drive. They produce things like that with nicotine and everything that kids should not be consuming. Customs to stop importation, to stop allowing the importation of products that do not comply with the current health warning. 
uh, FCCPC, SON, Federal Ministry of Health, to go out there and begin to crack down on products that do not comply. As far as we are concerned, and as far as the law is concerned, products that do not comply with this uh, graphic health warning as prescribed today are illegal products. Like before, that they will tell that Federal Ministry of Health says, but this one, that they want to use this thing and tell you that CEO, this is my products, even taken as prescribed by them, will cost you this. So we believe that this will be very, very effective. And that is why, from our own thinking, because we know that any policy about the well control, the industry will do whatever possible to derail it.